Alice with Angie's Art Asylum. Hope you guys are doing well. I am going to do a bottom of the bottle lightning pour. Um, my very first video on my YouTube channel was this kind of pour. I was like, well, I need to get back to that and let's kind of revisit, you know, where I started. So it wasn't where I started, but it was where I started my video YouTube journey. So um, I have some paints mixed up and I will uh, insert the picture of the paints I'm using and I will put them also in the description box for you and let you know how I mix them. This is a 16 by 20 canvas and I just cut the bottom of a water bottle off. I can't find, I always never can find the bottom that I originally started with. Um, I don't know where it is. I'm sure I'll find it afterwards. But for now, this is what we're using. I took some apple barrel, I think it's satin acrylic, satin acrylic paint, mixed it with a little flow troll. Because I only need just a little bit of white. And I am going to pour it underneath this cap. We only need a little bit. I don't know if that's the middle or not, but maybe. So I'm going to pour on one side, and then I'll twist it around a little bit and pour on the other side. And I'm going to take two cups. I need about 14 ounces of paint for this canvas. And I have some nine ounce cups, so we are going to just start filling them up. I'm going to start with a blue. It is Amsterdam greenish blue. You don't want the paint too thick or too thin. You want it to just kind of run off the stick. Leaves a trace for just a few seconds and then it disappears. And now I have Amsterdam turquoise blue. And I'm going to pour this down the side so it doesn't mix the other paint. Next, I am using the Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. And it is Lucas Krill Studio Cadmium Red Deep. Then we have a permanent red violet. Next one is Amsterdam Permanent Red Purple. I have the Amsterdam in Azo Orange. And last I have Liquitex Basics in Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. I usually use two yellows, but I decided to just use one. Look at that. Pretty pretty. Okay. So now I'm going to move one of these out of the way. And we are going to start with the yellow. Hopefully this works out. I haven't done this in forever. I'm just going to pour on this side and we're just going to kind of let it run off. It's going to kind of wrap itself around the cup a little bit.
turn this just a little bit. And we're going to do the other side. Remember to breathe. Breathe. <laughs> uh, I might have got it too thin, but we'll see. Those colors, so pretty. I think I cut my lid a little too short. because it didn't keep that out of there. Just mix these paints, so I have a lot of bubbles in them. Torch the bubbles. And we are going to use a skewer and a napkin. We're just gonna kind of come from the middle. Um, to bring in the white out a little bit in the middle and wherever you see it. That's really pretty. Okay. That's good. Not that little yellow part right there. We're going to keep that. Uh, now we need to add a paint extender. Or like a paint around the edge. I'm going to add the rest of this color that I have in with this paint extender. That way I don't waste it. I'm going to speed this up. So I'm just going to pour this around the edges. That way we can keep some of our pattern as we tilt it off. I just want it to flow nicely. Okay, now let's see if we can create a composition that we like. Torch the bubbles, because we really don't want to torch it after we stretch it. Hopefully we got them all. Alright, let's see if we can save some of this purple in the middle. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh, there's a lot of paint on this thing. Hmm. Let's do this end first.
So every time I've tilted, I've shifted the paint weight to the middle. I'm just kind of bleeding it off now. And it's going to stretch these lines out. That's why you use a paint extender. That's why I put the paint around it. That way, I'm able to hold on to some of this. The white kind of got uh, a little muddied. I may try a different white, but it's really co a cool effect. Um, it's a little different than my previous ones that I did, but I just grabbed the first white I could see, so that, uh, that would explain it. I think I got enough paint off. Hopefully it will dry and uh, not crack. Uh, I'm not going to smooth it just a little. Good. We're gonna call it good. All the corners are covered. And now we just wait for it to dry. Um, thank you guys for being here with me. I appreciate it. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the colors. They're so bright and vibrant. Um, love the middle. Glad we kept that uh, little boulder cell in there. That's pretty cool. And like I said, the white did mix a little bit with the other colors but it is kind of cool so uh, I will uh, show you guys the dried result when uh, when it is dried and we will see how it fares so uh, for now take care and uh, I will be right back with the dried results <laughs>